Legs straight, ready? Yep. Push up. Robert, you can have a seat, please. Push up. So this is Brody. <laughs> uh, been a patient for a while. He has some little back issues. Comes in periodically, push up. I'll push up. Is simply do the proprioception input or uh, push up. versus something else. Push up. So it's a big change, right? Yeah. Now, if I wanted to, we can pick which side so we can go from one side like this. Yeah. Push up. He actually, you got hot off that, didn't you? Yeah. I can feel the heat coming off. Go. Go. So we are not going to be just going to push out that left side of his. We're just Let's recap this. So initially we muscle test Brody and all of his muscles are inhibited, meaning they're weak. This is one of the reasons that he's having lower back pain is his muscles are not turning on fast enough. And he's obviously a powerful, well-built male and he should be able to resist these tests. Through this demonstration, they appear weak. I gap his jaw, and once again, we go back and retest his muscles. We notice that all his muscles fire up. Now, this is not magic. This is neurology. We're activating cerebellar inputs. I'll put a little video in in a moment. And when we take the tongue depressors and put them very specifically, I can actually determine which side is out. So when we do his right side, his muscles facilitate and his body heats up because it's a neurological component. When we put the tongue depressors on the left side, all his muscles go weak. So I'll be treating Brody's right side in this video. This is a segment from a different video discussing the TMJ and how certain mouth guards activate certain areas within the cerebellum. And this is a little video clip demonstrating how this patient who had a car accident and had a movement disorder called dystonia she put the tongue depressors, one on top of the other, on a particular side of her mouth, and the fluidity of her movement came back. And once again, this is because it activates certain areas within the brain. The brain has a better coordination and sequencing and timing and firing so that the body can work as it's designed to. Continuing ed students. Oh, that's great. How is that going? Very yeah, good. Yeah, you're always coming up with uh, some really interesting things. Uh, yeah, that's great. How often do you guys get together? Uh, a couple times a year, generally. Patients who have TMJ issues usually have one side that's predominantly worse than the other. For example, I have a TMJ issue, which is on the left side. Anyway, with Brody here, we're doing the internal pterygoids and his masseter muscles. These are very tender and they're tight. And they can be painful for the patient. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Uh -huh. He gets warm, so when patients get warm like that, it means they've been out of place for a long time. And you can feel the heat wave like that. Come off the patients. Yeah. In certain patients, whenever you stimulate the right area that needs to be stimulated, a patient's blood flow will increase. With increased blood flow, more blood means more heat. And so patients will have this heat wave that comes off of them after treatment. This is very common in my practice. Also, we're noticing that Brody's muscles are now facilitating and working properly. So this is how simple TMJ and adjustments help the body in its coordination. Did your back hurt or what's the... It hurts a little on the left uh, quad. Like maybe just a little here. Go we'll walk for a second. Here what I'm doing with Brody is doing some basic aromatherapy to see what impact it had on his low back. Um, I haven't really done this before with Brody so it's more of an experiment to see if it changed anything and it did diminish his low back pain. So what we're doing here is we're having the patient smell through one nostril to activate one hemisphere of the brain versus both nostrils. And this is to help that hemisphere work better. The smell is the only sensation in the body that does not cross over, it does not desiccate, so it stays on the same side. So I wanna see what impact this had on Brody. How's it still hurting you a little bit? I don't feel it all right now, actually. Really? Yeah, I'm 100% better. I think we're doing a straight trigger point and then we're calling it a day. How's that feel? I feel great. Yeah? Yeah. You did a great job last time though. I was... I feel good. 